Somebody call the law, somebody call the law It got to be illegal for me to be so raw What up though, Heist Man the Foe, Talk That Talk, Ghetto News and Opinions, man. These are the stories that happened last week on Earth. Tell you right now, it wasn't that many stories that happened, man. Um, I usually find stuff and talk about it on the show Friday. Then I do a last week on Earth to recap everything that happened on Earth last week. Wasn't that much to talk about this week, man. But still a few things we got to talk about. Here we go. Might be the shortest video I ever did in my life. Ayo, pause. That's what I say to this man right here, man. He's world Guinness Book world record for having balls to the mouth, tennis balls or ping pong balls up against the wall, shooting them in and out of his mouth. I think in the 30 second period, the time period, how many balls you can take in. This is wild, man. Look at this show. I got footage of it. He in the Guinness Book world records doing this show. Look at him. Look at him. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Look, do you see the Guinness Book of World Records? He doing that. He doing that. That's him. This is wild. Look at him. Oh, my God. Come on, man. I I, I don't know what to say about this. This is him, though. This is this, this the guy. This is the guy, yo. This is the guy. <laughs> he did it man that's what i said hey, yo pause man um big shout out to him who take the record for that like who made that up it looks very dangerous first of all but who made like who made that up who was sitting there doing it and say look i bet y'all can take more balls <laughs> to the mouth than you up against the wall balls against the wall I'm not even going to know. Um, it's a, who who he beat out. We were trying to come up with these conversations Friday night. Like, who did he beat to to win this? Who 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 lost? Who was the um who was the losing balls? That's wild. Um, what do you tell your son? Is your son going to follow in your footsteps? Why did the woman win it, man? Y'all make your own jokes up, man. I'm not a comedian. Well, I'm the only comedian not getting paid for it. That's what my aunties used to tell me. You're the only comedian not getting paid. Because I used to get in trouble for school and stuff. Man. Thank you funny, don't you? You're the only comedian not getting paid. All right. But y'all seen that, man. That was wild. Let's say yo pause. That happened last week. For what? Was the question I asked when I heard this story right here, man. Connecticut. They're allowing... Tampons to be inside of the boys' restroom at school, starting at age what? I don't know what age, but the, the third grade is 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 in elementary school at the earliest age they putting these in. Tampax, ta not Tampax. I don't want to you know go up against their. Is there other companies for um, tampons? Is, is, do they have the monopoly on tampons? Tampax? I don't know, but I'm saying they're going to put tampons inside of boys' restroom as well as girls' restroom, but at an early age. Like from third grade, it's early as third grade. I don't know if you can't have a third grade bathroom, but in elementary school, if I'm getting it right. My question is for what? What do they need to have Tampax, tampon, or damn, I keep saying Tampax. I don't want to brand this, brand this, not brand it, but I don't want to put a brand on this or alienate a brand on this, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Why would they put tampons inside of a boy's restroom? Um, Like why? For, for what? For what? Try to be sensitive about the situation. I know people just change up trans, yeah, whatever they do. But do they got to be, like? I don't know, man. Like, why is they in there? I don't know. The argument was last night for my co-host, my wife, and my um, cousin Primzilla. They was like, "Do it matter?" I'm like, "No, it don't matter. Is it hurting me? No, nah, it don't. It ain't hurting me. It ain't hurting the damn dudes to come in the bathroom to get it. But y'all start pushing this stuff on people, man. This, hmm." I love everybody. It's crazy. For what though? What the damn tampons need to put in the boys' restroom? Mm -mm -mm. Hey yo, watch your mouth, fam. 
That's what I say to Dame Dash, yo. Dame Dash and 50 Cent is getting into a beef of some sort. I don't know. Um, Dame Dash, he a mouthy motherfucker. 50 Cent, same way. Niggas always talking, 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 talking. They always beefing with somebody. But Dame Dash, when you out here beefing with somebody, man, don't let your damn teeth fall out of your mouth, man. Especially when you going up against 50 Cent. Come on, man. You out there arguing with 50 Cent online about networks and books and all that stuff. I think 50 got a book coming out. Big shout out to 50. And Dame Dash, you out there arguing online and his damn teeth fall out of his mouth. Come on, man. You got to do better than that, bro. You got to watch your mouth, fam. <laughs> Literally, that is the worst person you want your damn teeth to fall out in front of. Like, you did it on camera. I think you was online. I think you was on Instagram or something to something to something. I don't know. But I know that your teeth fell out when you was arguing with 50 Cent. That's the wrong thing to do, man. That is the wrong thing to do. He ain't even got to say nothing. He was like, you see? What? What? Can't come back from that, man. He a grown man. And a lot of people in the chat was saying that, um... You grown, man. You rich. You a millionaire, billionaire, zillionaire, whatever you is. Why you ain't got no permanence in there? Why you got no screws, something that... Why you got... You need polygrip, bruh? You need dentures? You got the dentures? Your teeth falling now? You are... Bleh. I thought about Beetlejuice when I first seen this. Remember there was, um... When Beetlejuice turned them old, he was trying to marry Lydia. On Beetlejuice, the original. Beetlejuice 1, not Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I like how they did that Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice for Beetlejuice 2. Instead of calling it Beetlejuice 2, they said Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. But, man, but you know how that, he was up there, they was getting married, he was like, Beetlejuice, and he threw the thing on the girl's mouth, and he made him old, he was like, Beetlejuice, and his damn whole jaw fell off. What's his name? The dude from Rust? Nah. Alec Baldwin? I said Rust, and did like this. Sorry, R.I.P. to um, Helena Hutchison. Damn, I watch too much TV. But his teeth came out. And um, that's how Beat His Youth Mouth fell. Alec Baldwin. Off to another subject. I'm jealous of the Hawk 2 girl. Yes. I really am. I'm jealous of the Hawk 2 girl because she has been allowed opportunities off her just making a sound effect. I heard that she's getting a podcast on the something network, Better Network, I think it's called. It's from Jake Paul, one of the Paul boys, YouTubers. And she's getting a lot. Man, I just, and that, man my wife told me after the show was over with, she was like, yo, you know what? This is going to make you jealous of her even more. In two months, she made her first million. She made her first million in the two-month period from the Hawk 2. Y'all seen the video? Y'all know the, all the shit she's been doing? Hawk 2, spit on that thing. And, and I was like, yo, why is she famous for this? For the Hawk 2 spit on that thing. Um, and why is she awarded opportunities? I was like thinking like, and this is me personally, and I'm going to keep bringing it up no matter what my wife say. She said, you need to quit saying that. That's, just, that's crazy. That's disgusting. You shouldn't think about that. I'm thinking that. I've never seen her Hawk 2 and spit on no things, this person. Why is she famous for something that we never seen her do? I don't want to see it personally, but I never heard nobody come out and vouch for it. I ain't heard I ain't heard no ex boyfriends come out and say, "Yeah, she do got some fire head," or it's whack. I ain't heard good or bad about the the, the hawk two. Has she ever hawk twoed for real? You know what I mean? I ain't heard nobody come out and vouch for that neck, that head, that scalp, that dome. Whatever you want to call it in your city. Hey, everybody got a different name for it. But y'all know what I'm talking about. The Hawk 2 and spit on that thing. We ain't heard nobody vouch for the thing. We ain't nobody with the thing vouch for her. I ain't heard that we ain't seen no leaked footage of her doing that. And the thing is, she is getting real famous for this, man. She done made a million dollars in two months. And the thing is, I was the say the reason why I say I'm jealous because she's getting opportunities and I haven't seen her put in no work. Maybe she had, maybe she have it, but I know she went viral off a cliff of a clip of her saying that and now what makes her who like not not saying what makes her like come on man who the fuck is she did we got to listen to her do a podcast like what, what story she got that we want to hear or I, what it is i just see other people have put in more work than she has including myself and it ain't even about the work it ain't hard work or 
I just know I do countless hours of of material and content and come up with ideas and do you know do all kind of things. Like man, look at the channel. This is a whole bunch whole bunch of everything on here, man. If it, it was YouTube shorts or podcasts, live shows, it just I'm jealous. I, I ain't afraid to say it. I was afraid to say it at first because I didn't want to come off as a hater. Because I can, it, it sound, it's real hater type. Man, she got it, you got it. You watch it, pocket watching and stuff like that. It's, no, it ain't that. It's pure jealousy. It's not hate, it's jealousy. And I seen that other people was coming out and saying the same thing. I've seen other people, I, I, I see, I'm looking at comments and stuff, looking like, man, how she get it? I'm like, man, you I don't hate, bro. Just let her eat, bro. Let her eat. And. As time go on, it was like, I thought, you know, this shit would be over with by now. I thought the Hawk 2 girl name, legacy, whatever that was, would be over with by now. And you look up online, you see it trending again, like, it's been two months later. What? It, that thing still, it's still a thing? Then you look up, I'm telling you, I, I've looked in, in comments of people, you know, of her, just news reports about her. And I'm seeing people with bigger way bigger platforms than me you know this is peanuts over here man i got about six thousand views that's you know that ain't shit and i see people with fifty thousand eighty thousand and up forward fifty eighty hundred thousand subscribers and stuff on youtube and other platforms and i see them they be like damn man why why not me you know why not me how she get how you know i'm looking like damn if they got, if they feel that way, I know I can feel that way. I mean, if I feel that way, I know they can feel that way. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that with a little 6,000 views. I get like seven viewers on my live shows on Friday nights, man. Big shout out to the seven. Um, You know, you know what I mean? But I know I put in the work, the time, the, you know, it's, I got a lot of content on this channel and I ain't seen no content from her and she has been awarded a podcast. And, and she done made a million dollars get your paper it ain't that it ain't hate it ain't hate at all shorty I, I hate that I know your real name is Haley Welch I, you the Hawk 2 girl but your name Haley Welch and you Hawk 2 and spit on that thing and everybody know you I'm jealous of that I don't want a million dollars I want 999 <laughs> you know I want to give me a dollar less I want it all I want some of it. I want some of the accolades, the adulation that she is getting, the praise for my hard work and dedication. My people let me know, man, on Friday nights. You got a dope show. Thank you. I want a bigger audience. I'm jealous of the Hawk 2 girl, 100%. I say that a thousand times. I'm jealous of the Hawk 2 girl. Just because I know I put in more work than she has, especially on this channel right here, man. The Hawk 2 girl, Haley Welch. Big shout out to her, man. Do your thing. Like I said, it ain't hate. It's jealousy. I can admit that. And when I see other people start to do that, this is gonna maybe we'll feel better. Cause I see a lot of people, man. I see a lot of people on Twitter saying, "Man, look at her. Who is she? Who the fuck? Who the fuck? What do we? Why we got listen to her? Who is she to, for us to listen to on the pocket? Like, come on, man. We ain't seen the Hawk Two Girl say nothing. The person who interviewed the Hawk Two Girl when they said that maybe they can. They, they, they was putting in work. They was doing some content and got that. Per I only know that person. Who the little girl who was beside her? What happened to her? They were saying she looked better with the blonde hair. I'll give it to her, you know. But who the fuck is she? We got to listen to her. What, what have she ever done interesting? Or we going to find out? I don't know. I'm jealous, man. I ain't going to never stop being jealous of the Hawk 2 girl until I'm in the Hawk 2 guy. Cause it, no, I don't want to be in the Hawk 2 guy. You got to lick on that thing and <laughs> something. I got to do I got to do that. I ain't selling my soul, man. That's what it is. Because I can be in a better position than what I am for as YouTube and content creator. Because I can side with other people. You know, I can. I just want to do it by myself. Maybe that's the reason why. I can go on other platforms. I'm a respectable person. I can. I don't, I don't work with nobody. I don't work with nobody but myself. I got my cousin and my wife that known me for 30 plus years. That's why they mess with me. But you know what I mean? I don't work with nobody. But I want to do it by myself. 
There's other YouTubers just doing their thing right now that I know. Just doing their thing right now. But I don't go messing with them. Because I don't want nobody to say they did nothing for me, you know? You know the type of people who say that. Oh, I helped him do this. I'm like, yep, yep, see. I don't want, no, I don't want none of your help. You think I need your help? I don't want your help. But I need your help. But I don't want your help. You see, that's the, that's the thing, man. It's called pride. A lot of people ain't got it. I got it still. I'm just of the Hawk 2 girl. Throw away the key. That's what I said about this dude right here, man. This dude right here, man, his name is Colin Gray. He has been charged with two counts of second-degree murder, four counts of involuntary manslaughter, and eight counts of cruelty to children. This is the father of Colt Gray, who did what he did in those school, in that school in Georgia. Um, The story is about the son, but... You know what the son did. I don't want to get into it. I only want to put his picture up there, man. He a fourteen year old child still, you know, and the victims were children, and some of them were grown up, four people. I ain't want to get into that. The thing is that he, um, the father has been charged also because his father purchased the rifle for the kid, the AR fifteen, and um, the father is getting charged for this. Um, sense of situation, sad situation, but I say throw away the key because yo, you purchased the, the, the AR 15 for your 14 year old child for Christmas or something, and um, he went out there and did what he did, man. You got to pay for that, man. That's wrong. What he did is wrong for what you did, so and I ain't want to like, I ain't, I ain't want to get into it Friday night because you know it's a sensitive situation. I don't like you know talking about stuff like this, but I say throw away the key, man. He, he deserved everything he gonna get. You have somebody's child, man. You gave your child the the means to harm other people, man. So throw away the key. And last but not least, R.I.P. to Rich Homie Quan, man. This happened last week. Rich Homie Quan passed away, man. R.I.P. to him, man. Very talented rapper. 34 years old, man. Didn't even get a chance to live. Born in 1989. Come on, man. Mm, mm, mm. This one right here, it kind of did. Now, it ain't like, you know, but it is like, man, yo, it just make you. It, it brought nostalgia when I went back and listened to his music. I used to listen to his music um, all the time. And like Friday, I have a playlist I play in my head. Go through my roller decks. <laughs> that I go through and um, one of his songs called Investments that I always play. If you listen to the song Investment, it ain't got nothing to do with investing money and nothing like that. It got to invest with like, you know, being on your own, doing your shit for yourself. And that come brings back up to the um the Hawk Two Girl, like that situation. If you listen to investments, make you think like and I, I play songs like that. This is like my back up against the wall. Ain't nobody helping me. I'm doing my own thing. I'm going it's for me by myself. I'm rocking out, man. I don't need no help. You know? I listen to that and win, 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 win by J-Rock. But Rich Homie Kwan, man. R.I.P. to him. But I went back and I started playing some of his old songs, man. And it was like, damn, man. That was like 2012, 2013. It was not that long ago. When he was out here doing this thing with those songs he came out with. And it seemed like, man, life get taken for granted, man. Rich Homie Kwan, he passed away from a parent overdose. Um, You never know what these people be on, man. So, mm-mm. So he went to sleep. His wife seen him sleep. Woke up next morning. He wasn't even with us no more, man. But y'all be careful out here, man. They, they whew, it's crazy, man. It's brought so much nostalgia back, man. Thinking about where I was at in life. What, in 2013? I was not doing YouTube. I know that much. I was still rapping then. Rapping and trapping. Anyway, man. That's it, man. All that happened last week on Earth, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this paper that I'm putting out when I put it out, man. Like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. Y'all just got to come through and holler at me, man. This is what happened last week on Earth. This is a dangerous group. The groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back 
and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.